Welcome to Zach and Foss. This place right here is what made this island famous. They put it on the map. This is one of the top places to visit on the island and we're situated here in the Ionian Sea. The island is 40 kilometers long, 20 kilometers wide, and we're gonna check out some of the best spots on the island. John and I are going to spend two days here in Sakynthos and then we're going to catch a ferry next door to Kefalonia, where we're going to also spend two days. So these two islands we're going to show you in this episode are arguably the most beautiful in the Ionian region. They're beaches, the sheer cliff faces, towns and attractions. So this is our final episode as part of our Greece road trip series. So if you've just joined us and are thinking about doing your own road trip, watch our Athens, Meteora and Corfu episodes. Next week, we're handing back the car for a yacht and we start a brand new sailing adventure in the Bahamas. But for now, let's kick off this episode on Shipwreck Beach. Welcome to Zakynthos. When you arrive, you can absolutely see why this is one of the top five beaches in the world. It is currently around midday. We're here in May, so it's not the very, very peak season and it is already getting pretty packed. Let me show you around. Obviously, you have this shipwreck just behind us here. A few people have taken a bit of shelter underneath it there. And as you can see, we have a couple of crews that have just arrived and there's a couple of leaving as well. So it's just gotten really, really busy here. There's a flow of traffic going on and off the beach, but the water is crystal clear. And if you have a polarized set of glasses, check that out it's even bluer again so gorgeous the cliffs are just absolutely impeccable when you get here though they do remind you not to sunbathe around the edges because you have to be aware of the falling rocks it's better to not go nearby to the rocks left and right because small stones are falling and you don't want to have any stone in your head when you look up as well, John was just mentioning how they feel like they invert towards you. They're so large, so impressive, so beautiful. Wow, I can't believe we're here. I think the best part about this beach as well, because obviously we owned a sailboat, Takana, is that you can literally bring your yacht right up to the front here of the beach, right up to the shore, as close as possible. So I hope one day when we have another boat here in the Med, we'll be able to park it up and experience this place again on our own terms. To get here, it costs 30 euro per person and it's absolutely worth it. At the center of the beach lies the rusty wreckage of a smuggler's ship called the MV Panayotis. The ship ran aground in 1980 while allegedly transporting contraband. This is amazing. You can go from there and come and Let's go inside the shipwreck. We've been granted access. Okay, ready? Ah, how cool! Wow! This is what made this island famous. This incredible shipwreck. There are a lot of rumours surrounding its illicit cargo, but it's believed it was moving cigarettes, alcohol and drugs between Greece and Italy. So it's gotten so hot that we're now transferring ourselves into the water. It is so clear, crystal clear, icy cold too. I'm sure it will get warmer in summer. In a typical summer season, Shipwreck Beach can see literally thousands of tourists each day. Uh, hard to forget it's not a pool, hey. <laughs> to avoid the largest crowds, try arriving early in the morning or during the shoulder seasons. As mentioned, we're here in May, so this is classified as the shoulder season. And in my opinion, it's still pretty busy. So busy while John and I were getting out of the water, someone just happened to take this panoramic photo as we were kissing, completely random. They came up to us and told us, if you're watching this, thank you for sharing the moment with us. So Shipwreck Beach is only accessible by boat, which makes it even more exclusive and enticing. We jumped on a boat tour and its horn is going now. So it's time to leave. looking at here are sheer limestone cliffs. And so on the way back to shore, our boat tour stopped at some of the most mesmerizing blue caves. Wow, this is absolutely epic. It's taken us inside the water, it's so blue. 
Our skipper then asked our group if we'd like to dive off and swim to one of the caves, and no one put their hand up. Use your GoPro, and, uh, make a 360, 360. No. So I broke the ice and said, I'll do it. Oh my God, it's actually really scary. Go. You know what I mean? The benchmark was low, and so it got everyone into the water. Ooh, this way? <laughs> that was awesome. Get to jump off the boat. And now we're just gonna go and explore this cave quickly. This is crazy. If you're claustrophobic, you don't want to come in. I feel like it's gonna collapse. I'm so glad we jumped in the water. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't that cool? Look at the Gonna lean right back. Save you a <laughs> Just lean back and relax. You're bending up, put your head back. <laughs> put your head back in the water. Put your head in the water. You just <laughs> Well, that was magic. After our awesome boat adventure at sea level, it was time to climb in altitude by car. So I'm currently behind the wheel. Feeling a little bit nervous because most cars in Greece are manual and I haven't driven a car here. And John is doing some epic droning of these incredible cliffs. John just said this is possibly one of the most epic shots he's ever filmed, right? So we are driving to the lookout that will allow us to see Shipwreck Beach from above. No doubt you've seen photos taken from this famous vantage point before, but now you're going to know exactly where they're taken and how to get the perfect shot. The area is called Navagio Viewpoint, and if you see that Google Map link in the description below, you'll find all the pins of the locations I'm going to share with you in this video. And you can save it, you can download it, so that when you visit, you can find all these spots in seconds. You're welcome. If this is helpful, let me know in the comments and give this video a really quick like to show your support. It'll mean so much and it'll allow us to keep sharing these bonus maps for free. When John and I arrive, we have one of those Instagram versus reality moments. There are a lot of eager tourists swarming the observation deck. So we decided to walk a little further down the cliff. And when I say walk, I mean kind of tiptoe down the path apprehensively. Kind of in shock, amazement, bedazzlement. How's the view? That just a couple of hours ago, we were down there. And now we realize it's up here where you truly appreciate the beach that we have the privilege to visit and we'll probably never get another opportunity quite like this again in our lives. And then we were able to capture the moment when a lovely lady offered to take our photo. Let me just see how, the, how do I find Whenever someone asks, we always say yes because John and I are never in photos together. So thank you to all the legends out there who always offer the struggling couple, family, or solo traveler trying to capture a selfie. Now these cliffs are famous for cliff diving and base jumping. Oh, meow. The towering limestone rock faces attract thrill seekers and adrenaline junkies far and wide. God, they're standing like a meter away from the edge. While this was the most majestic lookout we experienced, there are plenty of beach clubs peppered along Zakynthos. Day beds will set you back upwards of five euro. John and I are pretty hungry though, so we're going to quickly head back into town, grab a bite to eat, show you our Airbnb, and then we're going to whip over to Kefalonia in the morning to compare the neighboring island we've heard so much about. So this is our beautiful apartment. As you can see, it has huge TV, massive fridge, all the appliances that you'd need. And out here is a stunning balcony area. And I think the best thing about our little Airbnb is this rooftop. You go upstairs, beautiful view of the city. Today has been a really hectic day. I've done some voiceover work and we went to the bakery. So we are currently just going to dinner. So when you come to 
Greece. Gianni Troia. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying for John to eat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Vasily. Yeah. Amos Taverna, please. You think you want this one? Tsiporo. Tsiporo. Like a... Uh... Vodka? No, Tsiporo. Tsiporo. Wow, that's a big shot. By the way, we didn't order these drinks. In Greece, some restaurants give complimentary desserts or spirits as a kind gesture. And of course, it's customary for the waiter to join in. And just like that, we were on our way to Zakynthos's nemesis, its rival island, Kefalonia. Here we're going to go horse riding, check out its best beaches too, lookouts, a blue cave, and show you the gorgeous area we're staying in. As you guys know, we hired our car from Athens, which cost us around 450 euros for 21 days. So that works out to be around 20 euros a day, which we worked out is way cheaper than flying and then hiring a car on the islands. Plus, we don't have to worry about taxis. And to be honest, most of the time, parking wasn't a problem where we stayed. But the whole catching of the ferry situation was an adventure in itself. We are in the car on the ferry and the doors open and we're moving. They're literally an inch away from us. Who's going? Who's going? Wow. What an experience. I guess the ferry tickets did add up. All in all though, if we had our time over, we wouldn't change a thing. Although, beware, as soon as you arrive to Kefalonia, the roads, they're a little worse for wear. The first lookout we're going to go check out looks over arguably the island's best beach. But yes, to get there, these are the roads, these are the conditions. So we're taking it easy, taking it slow. So we've just come out to the lookout. There's this new bridge that's just been built and you can walk along it. Uh, wow, what the heck? Oh my god. It's a long way down. It's literally straight down. Makes you feel a little giddy. Doesn't yeah, it? it does. It makes you feel super giddy. <laughs> this has to be one of the most incredible lookouts I've seen in a long time. Wow, okay, I can't go any further than that. <laughs> Welcome to Catalonia. This is the best view on the island. We're going to be coming back here for a swim real soon. After we check out a cute village called Fiscado, which is located on the far north of this Greek island. On our way there though, we stop here where the cliff faces and viewpoints to stop the car are too tempting. And we park up briefly along this little bend to capture this vantage point looking down to Assos. So if you have time, add this cute little sleepy spot to your list. It's in the Google map link you'll find in the description below of this video, along with a link to our Patreon if you'd like to support our channel and join our behind the scenes crew who we share extra content and giveaways with. Your support directly supports our channel and helps us fuel our car as we drive to this next town called Fiscato. There's a port there, there's restaurants and an infamous bakery that has some really interesting reviews on Google. So we're intrigued to check it out. So there's a bakery in town that John looked up and the reviews are terrible. Two point something star. John's really interested in going in. Oh, it smells really good. So stay tuned and we'll give you our review soon. But this is Fiscato, guys. If you're a boaty and have sailed this region before, chances are you've med moored here. Med mooring is when boats drop their anchor, reverse on it, then tie the stern to a dock, or in this case, some rocks. Parking off in Greece. You can see all the vessels over here. This guy's been gone around a few times. Learning the tricks of the trade, guys. And for lunch, Euroses are like hamburgers for Greeks. They're quick, easy, and affordable. So good. You have to go to Euros when you're in Greece. Anywhere between three to five Euros each, and they pretty much have every aspect of the food pyramid in them. Speaking of which, at the top of the triangle... Can you just turn the music down for a sec? Let's talk about this infamous bakery. Her cakes are next level amazing. I got the walnut wine for that. Wow, it doesn't look that appetizing, but it's delicious. If you like spicy nutmeg, cinnamon flavored syrup, it's exactly what it tastes like. She is a good pastry chef, isn't she? Yep, and this is the sound you want to hear when you, when you, ready, listen. 
tadi. After our two course feast, we decided to drive down to Mirtos Beach. We'll then check in and show you our Airbnb. But this is the zigzag road that leads you down to the foreshore. From up here, looks can be deceiving. That isn't sand. That's millions of pebbles. Super uncomfortable to walk along the beach. We initially said we'd walk from one end to the other and then... Best bring thongs or sandals. Definitely. There are no toilets down here. There's this establishment that's getting built here at the moment. It's going to be fantastic when it is completely built. Give me an update in the description below if this does become a proper like restaurant or a bar or something. Oh my God, it's so cold. In terms of practical beaches, I think this next one we're driving to has to be our favorite on Kefalonia. Driving along these windy roads to get to it, this is Anti Samos Beach. Yes, it's still pebbly, but look at the bay. It's protected by the soaring cliffs on either side of it, and you'll have waiters bring you drinks. Plus, there are so many sunbeds to enjoy. How beautiful is that water? Oh my gosh, this place is stunning. One of my favorite spots on the island. We're here in May, it's quiet and calm. Even the lifeguards remain off duty, but in a few weeks, all these chairs will be full and boats will be sailing in these blue Ionian seas. But nothing compares to the waters we're about to show you on the eastern part of this island. We are off to Melisani. If you look down the edge, you can see how blue the water is. The cave's roof caved in centuries ago, revealing an underground lake. For around eight euros each, we're jumping on one of these small boats. The guide's gonna row us around the lake. The entrance of water is near the wall and it's the deepest part. 39 meters deep. This water always flowing, entering here, exit back. Very clear water, always cold, 15 degrees. Oh. Brackets, half salt, half fresh. The guide also takes us inside the cave, showing us the stalactites and stalagmites that have formed over thousands of years. Now this cave may look small from the entrance, but it's estimated to be around three and a half thousand meters in length. It's a mix of limestone and salt, always dripping, always growing. Just one centimeter every 100 years. Is that okay? And on board, Thank you. we had another good Samaritan, the captain taking one for the team. Now, this is the seaside town of Agia Afamia, where we've booked our Airbnb. This is the view, and the reason why we picked this location is because it's situated somewhat in the center of the island, so it's convenient to drive to most of the attractions. But this spot looked very different a few years ago, when Hurricane Iano smashed the region. Roofs are still missing on some houses, including Pandelis's. He owns a stable running horse riding tours. So it was nice to know we were supporting his business when we booked this one-on-one -on -one ride. I've never been horse riding before. I'm really excited. Do the horses speak Greek or well, just English? No, <laughs> Both. Well, you know, me is dumb. Okay, and do I need to hold this as well? Um, yes. Just okay. hold your ring. Because uh, that way he, they won't go up his neck or anything like okay, that. Okay, yep. Bye. Yeah, that is and just like that, we were off. I literally called Pandelis a couple of hours ago and he squeezed us in. While pre-organising a beach ride would have been my absolute dream, riding around his neighbourhood was a very unique and eye-opening experience. You're probably wondering why John isn't on a horse. Hello! Well, he just waited in the car. Hey! with my laptop on the dash, uploading one of our YouTube videos using Pandelis's internet. Thanks, Pandelis. Slide your leg over his bum. And then just, yeah, oh, cool. Okay, you're so good. Can I pat him? Oh yeah, you can pat him. <laughs> oh, thanks for carrying me. Before deciding which island we like best, Kefalonia or Zakynthos, we're going to end our day at the Sea Rock restaurant. The moon is rising, it is so gorgeous. And our dream boat is just in front of us. 
swim over and commandeer it. In the <laughs> Maybe after a few carafes of wine. And we're about to go and have dinner in this gorgeous little restaurant. It's a short five minute walk from our Airbnb. We are at one of the best restaurants in California. We can't wait to have dinner. We're going to have a Greek salad and some taro masalata, which John is obsessed with this trip. Um, and we'll keep you posted. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is where we've gotten to. Dessert. So apparently we have to get mousse, ice cream, gadaifi, green bits, <laughs> and the red bits. Oh my god, you go first. You like mustique. Yeah. So I think you'll like this. So what was our favourite island, Zakynthos or Kefalonia? Just quickly, if you're still here watching, you may want to join us on Patreon. We're currently posting daily episodes and updates in real time and we'll be hosting a live Q&A next week as we get ready to take you to the Bahamas on a new exciting sailing adventure. Our patrons help directly support this production, making it free and available for everyone to enjoy. If you're not signed up though, you can still make a difference by subscribing to our channel and giving this video a like if you found the free Google map helpful. It's free and it takes a second and will help us with the YouTube algorithm. Wrapping up, I think if I had to choose one island, I would choose Zakynthos for Shipwreck Beach and also the island's soaring cliffs. The town is also more established, it's more touristy, and I found the locals to be more inviting and friendly. I'd love to know your opinion. Do you agree or do you disagree? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next week in the Bahamas. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, Christine, look out. Look out. <laughs>